Now that you have gone through my little mitten course, you should feel pretty confident that you understand at least the basics of mitten structure and different ways that thumbs and the tops of your mittens and things like that can happen. So now you can go on and try out some mitten patterns for things that kind of catch your eye. Couple options here. First thing is there are a lot of new books. This is fantastic. This is knitting new mittens and gloves. Then you can go through here and find all sorts of excellent, you know, oh, well, let's see here. That's stunning. Okay. And those are just kind of fun and funky. Then you can do fingerless mitts. Very nice. So you can see what I'm saying. You understand the basics. So when you read through a pattern, you should be able to, to kind of visualize where you're going with it as you go. Now the other option, of course, is to go with very, very traditional mittens, maybe after you've done a couple more. I've made a cup pair in this sort of Selbevoter uh, tradition, and they are stunning. They're gorgeous. They're you know, you have to pay attention, and I would also tell you that you can only knit one at a time because otherwise what happens is you've just got way too much um, going on with four strands of yarn. You only want to do, you can still knit them on Magic Loop, just split the stitches up between the two halves of the loop rather than four needle points, you know, double pointed needles. But I'm just telling you, do not try to do this with four strands of yarn. And I speak from experience. I did try that and didn't really get past the cuff, quite frankly. It's too crazy. So anyway, think about going off and doing more mittens. The only thing I would tell you is I would recommend you do use superwash yarns because mittens are like socks. They're going to get in the they're going to get into things. They're going to get dirty. It's not like putting a hat on your head and it's sort of out of the way. So I want to make a point about all of our swish yarns. You know, we've got them in a whole bunch of different weights and I just went and pulled, ha, yeah, these are like a, a Kelly color collection. I mean, you can have such a good time. These are swish in DK weight, okay? So just pay attention to how your pattern is working out. If it wants DK weight, of course, these are my little oranges and yellow and then my splash of blue. Don't forget, you can just get plain old. This is what we used when we were going through the class, the uh, Swish Worsted, which of course is just a workhorse. My color choices again. If you have a pattern like the Selbervoter that's going to ask for a fingering weight yarn, all right, don't forget, you've got Stroll. Again, a super wash wool yarn that will work for you and if you're going to make these as gifts and they're great for gifts mittens are wonderful for gifts you can make sure they're not going to get destroyed the first time the poor person tries to wash them all right so anyway it's been great doing the mitten course and i hope you enjoy making more and thanks for taking the trip with me